Welcome back to All Around LEGO, and today we will be reviewing LEGO set 753019, The Armor's Forge. Let's get into it. To start this review off, we'll start with some particulars. This set was released in September of 2021, and it has 258 pieces. Let's get started with the minifigures. Start things off. We have the Mandalorian in his Beskar ammo. This is jetpack. Same one in the uh, Trouble on Tatooine set. Has his uh, custom gun. Nothing too special there. Then you have the armor with his hammer and pretty standard torso printing. His helmet, which has um, four black spikes on top of it, looks really nice and really good. And it fits the figure pretty well, I think. The final minifigure is Paz Vila with a gun and he has his custom body armor with the logo, as you can see. Don't know why it's not focusing. And then you have his backpack and no face, but a pretty nice Mandalorian helmet. Pretty good leg and torso printing. Also. For the actual build itself, you have a little fire thing where you can move the light over it and you can take this and move it around and it's a holding pot and you can put materials in that and it also has some stands on the side to hold things such as a hammer. And you have this connection piece, it's a bench. It comes over to the main area where you have the entrance with a sticker. It is also on the back. You have a broom being held up. And then a couple of shelves with a unprinted Mandalorian helmet, which I found pretty cool. Then, when you come over to the other side of it, you have a area to some materials and do that. This can move, although it's not meant to. And over here in this corner, you have a control panel with a holocron of a Mandalorian, which is pretty cool and unique to the set. Then you have these cabinets with a code that both open up. And inside you have some tools through a sticker. And they can close, and then they can also pop off. And then inside of this, you'll find a thermal detonator, a blaster, and some more materials, and it just snaps in right there really easy. Thank you for watching, and I'll have a speed build of another set coming out soon, along with the review of my most recent 501st Battle Pack variation. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time in All Around Lego.